Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive. One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT, Yo. you know uh, people out here having AI girlfriends, right? <laughs> Nobody's out here having AI girlfriends. Who's doing that? Who do you know? Well, who's in your circle of friends? I mean, sometimes you get lonely, friend. Um, it said. Oh wait, no, for real? <laughs> no. No, no. Hey, I'm just making sure. I don't know if you're joking or not. We got real discussion on this episode. What, dude? What if I'm lonely and I'm talking to an AI? Mm. What does that mean? If you're talking about like the replica and the uh, some of the other app, apps that you can get for your cell phone, we've both admitted to uh, having those apps. I and downloaded these... to see what it was like. It was yeah. weird. It was and weird then we talked about how you were abusive. To <laughs> I it. was abusive. No, we we did. Oh, <laughs> we got to. The... <laughs> We got to it deep. Excuse me. That was I, an episode don't of- share how I treat Sally, okay? That was, that was she some... was a nice girl, and then she did wrong things. Nah, you were just abusive to your AI girlfriend, and that, you know, that's really sad. <laughs> <laughs> don't shame me over my AI we girlfriend. We already shamed you enough, me and Mr. X, when you told us Mr. about it. Mr. X. Uh, so feel free to continue. Whatever, dude. She she deserved it. Okay. I don't. She was like, I love you, and I was like, shh. Mm. Look, man, whatever helps you know. How are you going to love me in two seconds, girl? Whatever. That's what I said. Whatever. I, no. Whatever Anyways. helps you from like just going off at the cashier at the cash register. All <laughs> I right? love whatever the cashier, bro. I mean, look, you go yell at the AI girlfriend. Oh, you don't yeah. have to <laughs> yell at the mailman because they didn't bring your goddamn UPS box. I'm like, what do you mean there's lettuce on this taco? Yeah, just go yell at the AI. Go yell. Hey, it's safer. They can't do anything. I want you to take it out on the help. On the help. Wow. <laughs> So, anyways, there was a company called Forever Voices, and uh, they launched a myriad of celebrity AI virtual girlfriends and chatbots via Telegram. Oh, this is illegal. And uh, so, the founder Mm -hmm. ended up, he actually lived in Austin, Texas. I didn't know this. It makes sense. John Mayer, not the singer. That sounds like a a bullshit Austin startup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was taken into custody in October for allegedly setting boxes on fire on the balcony of his high-rise apartment in downtown Austin. He was charged with arson and terroristic threats, and his bond was set at $120,000. Okay. So because of this, mm-hmm. um, they uh, they ended up shut his, – his service shut down. So all the people who had AI girlfriends they essentially got ghosted by their AI girlfriends. Like they – and then people were mad because they were like, I love her. And they couldn't access her anymore. <laughs> so, wait, there's really people out here? I mean, look, I'm not trying to laugh at people. I'm asking a real legit question. Wait, it says, Forever Voices made waves when it announced AI chatbots, which were marketed as a way to satisfy, in quotes, fans and cure loneliness, in quotes. The service received backlash after users were able to engage in erotic conversations with the chatbots. Uh, let's see. It was not programmed to do so, though the companion bots are limited to users of 18 and older. Um, so, and they don't know if they're going to be coming back online or not. So. I honestly do not understand how you could get away with that. You said they were using celebrity likenesses, but I think it was like influencers. And like they were paying, oh, they would make money. Like you could pay, pay like money. I think I'd heard about that. Like you, you pay like a dollar a minute to chat with insert X influencer here and it looks like her and it's her face but it's not her maybe she has she records voice lines for it or something huh, huh. that is weird uh, I mean, to each of their own y'all do what you want I mean having an AI girlfriend and falling in love with a computer bot is not illegal and doesn't hurt anybody yeah. but like it's a little strange man um, I have to like w- I was watching a a podcast with actually a bunch of Twitch influencers, and this was a, a while back. Oh, okay. But there was uh the, the there was one she has Tourette syndrome, very cute girl. I think her name's Amelia. You should actually check her out, man. Has like bad Tourette syndrome. Just says like some of the off the wall. Oh, shit. she has like she has the like very like, bad tics. out Tourette. Yeah, tics. very bad tics. Very pretty girl and very entertaining. Very intelligent too. But obviously, you know the tics like kind of got her gained her popularity because people wanted to see. Because she says like dirty shit or like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, but uh, she said one very important thing. She said is that the influencers that you see rising up are a symptom of loneliness. Absolutely. And it's just a symptom of loneliness, like from a generation of boys in in this country, and this is their only outlet, and and that that's really the the saddest part, I guess. 
um, th- that they have to stoop to. They can't. They can't find companionship with an actual person. So you you go out and you find companionship with any way you can, because you're so starved for attention, affection, whatever that you find any sort of of it. And that's why people end up with toxic people. Yeah, yeah. Because they want, they're like dealing with this toxic ass person and getting something is better than being alone and getting nothing. Yeah, but I it's mean, it's not true. But it's that's not. People... I don't know. An AI is just not real. That's not real. That's no, nothing. it's not, not at real. all. And this is exactly why I don't think that single people should have pets. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, I I agree. You agree? I don't care. You don't care if single people. No, have I, pets. I, don't, I don't. I don't think single people should have pets at all. Ninety percent of the time, the single woman, single guy, they treat that dog like their child, right? Yes. That's not a kid. It's a dog. It's not a child. It's a dog. It's not a girl. It's an AI app. Stop it. It's not a girl. It's an it's AI. Not a app. human. That's a dog. But they have feelings. It's an the AI, AI no, bot does not have brother. feelings. That's why you can abuse them and they don't care. All animals have feelings. I agree with you. Yet you eat seventy five percent of them. Yeah, but you ain't having a pet cow. But they're just they're an animal. They're either an animal or they're one of us. What are they? Well, if they're an AI, that's not that's that's not even one a, step lower. Yeah, definitely, because obviously you can go in there and uh, d- degrade it, and you <laughs> <laughs> you would rather degrade the AI I than you would to the cast see how shirt. far it would go. Okay, <laughs> I wanted to see at what point they would walk away. <laughs> yeah, but I don't see you trying that with the cashier at the HEB. So I don't know what you what social experiment you're trying. I human to, lives. Why don't you Why don't you go run that experiment there? Huh? <laughs> just at H E B. Just like she's like, hey, how are you? I'm like, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> I wonder if that's where like a lot of these people you see being rude to like people and waitresses and stuff. Maybe they're just doing a social experiment. Yeah, maybe. I maybe don't know. maybe uh, they're just doing their AI bot. They're doing AI bot tests, but they're too sad to download a bot, so they're going to abuse yeah. a human. But I 100% 100% agree that that single people shouldn't have children. Lonely people shouldn't have AI bots. Um, <laughs> lonely people. What should lonely people have? Old people shouldn't have driver's license. Oh, I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> you got test for that. We, we need term limits. Uh, what else? What, what, what was your question again? I did. I have one. You did. You said something. You're like, what do you want lonely people? Oh, to what have? are lonely supposed to have? Yeah. If they can't have that, therapy would help. It does it it would um group therapy would probably be helpful i don't see a problem with lonely people because you know like generally people who who tend to be like outcasts of society they have a certain set of uh things that they like and i find that you know, usually those coincides with other people Anime. who have similar issues so you know if you like Yu-Gi-Oh cards a lot then go hang out with other guys who like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and you can maybe you know find a lover I, i'm not a friend saying, look man you know if you haven't had a hand job with a blue eyes white dragon in your hand, then oh, you don't even a blue eyed white dragon. Is that what you just said? Is that a real thing? Yes, of course it's a real thing. I'm the reference guy. All right, I could have went dark magician girl, but that's way too easy. Yeah, if you don't if you don't go on a date with a black lotus in your pocket. Okay, that was that was Magic the Gathering. I like that. Yeah, I like where you're going with icy that. Icy manipulator in your hand. Ooh, that's old school. There we go. Showing that age again. Yep. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Just if you're not wearing your jester's cap. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, that's all the time we have for today's episode. <laughs> Go to thecrazytown.com <laughs> for Jonas. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's CT Dynamite. We out.